Hi everyone, it's Darvino with Darvino Plays with Scissors again, and this is our second project that we'll be using our Life is Beautiful stamp set, as well as the same um, pieces of cardstock we used for the first project. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be using these stamp inks, which is um, Sahara Sand, uh, Mossy Meadow, and Pacific Point. So let's get started with um, scoring our card. This is a normal A2 size card, which is eight and a half by five and a half. And we're gonna score it right in the middle at four and a quarter. So we can fold this in half. Just like this. And then I am going to, where's my bone folder? Oh, oh, it's right here. And I'm just going to make that crease a little more defined. And we'll be using this base um, vertically uh, or portrait, portrait style. So now that we've got that score, let's put that aside. Um, we will be layering these two um, pieces of paper. Um, by the way, this is our, this is Crush Curry, our Crush Curry cardstock. This is our design series paper in plaid, plaid design series paper. It is on sale right now for 15% off if you want to get stocked up, um, along with other design series papers. This is not just, this is not the only one. And then some uh, Cajun Craze. Um, so anyway, so let's get started on our top panel. We want, I want to stamp the tree. And you see I've got a huge block. I also have the Stamparatus, but I ran into some issues with it during our last project. So I'm just going to use the block and I think it has to do with my magnets. So anyway, we'll just use the block and we're using Sahara Sand. I used a uh, crumb cake on the last one, which turned out just fine. Um, but I wanted it to be just a little bit lighter. So let's see if we can accomplish that with Sahara Sand. And let me grab my scrap paper because I will be overlapping the white cardstock and I don't want to get it on my desk. So, oh, I guess I won't. So let's Oh my goodness, this block is really heavy. So let's just position it right like so. Oof. Okay. And very nice. I like that. Um, let's go ahead and I need to um, just wipe this off so it doesn't stain any more than it already is. And I did want to, I forgot to grab it, but I wanted to use, um, was it this one? Yeah. I wanted to use this little piece right here to create shadows on the ground. So let me put that aside. And I wonder if it'll fit here. Perfectly well. Okay. So let's do our first one right here. And then do another one right there. Perfect. Wipe that off. And now I just want to add some leaves. Add a bunch of leaves. Because our tree is in full bloom, getting ready for autumn to come. And you know what? I put that away. I put my leaves away. All right. 
right, so here they are. And this is Mossy Meadow. Yeah. And you know what, let's grab some old olive just to kind of give us a little bit more dimension. Oops. Just give us a little bit more dimension. Wipe off my leaves. Yeah. Oh look, one's already falling. Honestly, I think that's good, you guys. What do you think? I think that's good. I don't need any more. If I do any more, it's going to become one big blob of leaves. This is Mossy Meadow. Wow. Well. Okay, so I'll put that aside. Let me wipe this off. Now I want to um, add my birdhouse. So I'm using Pacific Point for the birdhouse. And we're just going to add it right here. Oh, of course it didn't work, right? Never. All right, let me try and line it up. Excuse my head. There we go. My goodness. Only I can mess up a birdhouse. And then now I just want to add my sentiment of thinking of you. And I think I want to use, do I want Cajun Craze or Cinnamon Cider? I think I want Cinnamon Cider. Don't want it to be too dark, but I definitely want that fall feeling. So our sentiment will just go right here. Thinking of you. Perfect. Put this aside. Let's just wipe that down. And now we can go ahead and add some of our sequins again. I really liked them on our last project. So grabbing our pick a tool and just grabbing, is that one or two? Oh, I think it's upside down. So we're just going to add sequins. Just randomly here on oh, of course it's randomly on our tree. And one right there. Hmm. Okay. Very nice. Put this aside. 
And now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and put this together. So we're going to start with our panel of design series paper. And I'm just running my tape runner along the sides. Grab my little tweezers. And I just want to make it flush with the edge. Just like that. And now these two little guys, they actually are, I think it is, oh, I can't read that. <laughs> they are the same size as the previous project. I just cut them in half because I need them to follow along. Um, you know, the length of the card. So what I'm doing is I'm just overlapping them because it's not going to matter because we're going to lay this like that. Okay. Tweezers and just like, oh, come on, just like that. Perfect. There you go. That is our second card. And like the first one, you can just write directly on the crush curry. Um, it's light enough that your pen will show perfectly. Or you can just put a panel of Whisper White on the inside and, you know, write out your sentiment on white, on the white paper. Anyway, so that is our second project. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll, let's move on to our third project.